This is the Japanese version of Astral Radiance, known in Japan as Time Gazer. It came out a few weeks ago and it's got some absolutely beautiful artwork in it that I wanted to have a closer look at today. So I'm gonna open up a box. First up, we have Itomaru Rakurai, which is literally the word for Thunderbolt in Japanese, right on the nose. Yan Yanma. Eji Gigasu. This is a beautiful card by Yuya Oka. I like this illustration. It's got a very cartoon style there. And I think that hollow rare, yeah, that suits that very nicely. And Shami by Koki Saito, my absolute favorite Japanese Pokemon card artist. All right, leading into Kusune by Naoya Kimura, who I believe debuted with the Southern Islands release. Those were some of the first cards that Naoya Kimura illustrated. Fuante, this is a very nice word if you want to learn a little bit of Japanese. Fua Fua, it's the Japanese onomatopoeia for floating, drifting along, which is very, very appropriate here for Drifloon. Windy, lovely Arcanine there, Hisui Arcanine. And Nyoroton, I like this style a lot. This one is by Yoma Uretsuka, and I just, I think Politoed's a cool Pokemon. This is a really flat style of illustration, but the white outline around Politoed just draws them out from the background a little bit. And you got the moon reflecting in the lake there. That's always a beautiful touch. Next up, we have a Cyndaquil Hinoarashi. This is good. Heat, Japanese word for fire, and Arashi is the word for like tempest or storm. So literally this means Fire Tempest for Cyndaquil. And I do love me some Cyndaquil. There is Thunderbolt, Electrike, Rakurai again. Psoki, the Sudowoodo by Hyogonosuke. Our first trainer card, it is Adamant by Sochiro Gunjima, Seki, and Registiru. Adamant has a full art trainer in this set that I would definitely like to find. This is a beautiful card. I've used this as actually the background for some of my thumbnails. It's a fantastic use of Kali Yabaoka Cheka and it just makes Mantine really stick out. This is one of my favorite cards from this set. There is Cyndaquil again by Sui. Hojofu. Raibolto. And the Gapejaw Bog, which was my least favorite area from Legends Arceus. All right, what awaits us here? Oh, it is a new illustration here by Tomokazu Komiya. This is a really nice Pornyard. I like this a lot. And no one is ever disappointed by a Komiya illustration. Mijumaru, lovely Oshawa by Saya Tsuruta. Uh, Fuaraido. Next rare, hey, it's the Magnazone. And I like this because I like Gossan. I may have spoken about this before, but I really like the thick black outline that Gossan always introduces or uses to just make the Pokemon stick out, make them feel like a little bit thicker, a little bit bolder. Magnazone, it suits them very well, I think anyway, because I don't know, they're, they're a, a Pokemon that looks like they're about to attack at all times. They do look quite fierce. It's a very nice little touch there by Gossan. And Regiareki, this is actually a really nice card too. This one's by Shibudingaru. This is a new artist. They have not drawn many cards, but I think they would be very suited to a special art if they were to get one. Anytime a new artist has ultra detailed illustrations for just their commons and uncommons, I get very excited because I think about the potential if they were to draw an alternate art. Shibudingaru has not disappointed here with Regieleki. A friend mentioned to me recently, if you're not collecting modern, you're missing out. And I just cannot agree with that statement anymore, especially with the, the, the level of art coming out with these new sets. Perapu. Koyori here, this is a fan favorite artist, Yuka Mori. They handcraft these little dolls figures or hand, hand sculpt them for every Pokemon card that they illustrate or create. And I feel like creates a better word to use here for Yuka Mori. And apparently they're all kept in a closet uh, at the Game Freak offices. So yeah, I wouldn't mind walking in there and having a little tour. Nazo no Kaseki and Mega Yama. You ever wondered why it's called Yama? It's because the Japanese word for Dragonfly is Yama. That's literally it. So. In Japanese, it's Dragonfly and Mega Dragonfly, and it's it's a Dragonfly and the Trekking Shoes. Somehow, I don't think it would fly if the English name was literally Dragonfly. We have Washibom, Fuaraido, Kojondo. This is a this is actually really nice. This is by Shibuzo. Shibuzo illustrations always feel like they have two kind of styles. This one is a little grainier, and that's not meant in a negative. It just has like a very fine, almost like they've dotted the background or use like a, a, a spray paint sort of, sort of feel if they've illustrated this digitally, which I think they have. She was all generally illustrated digitally. You can watch some of their live streams actually, if you want to see their approach to illustrations, but this is a lovely one. Absolutely beautiful work there by She was all. The Feather Ball and Regiereki. Wondering when we're going to find a V card. We have Chunine. This is a lovely card. This one's by Yukiko Baba. This is Petalil and Hoshigarisu by Miki Tanaka. Kojofu. All right, it is Typhlosion. 
And you guys know I love me some Typhlosion. This one is by Korki Saito, my favorite artist. And he's been getting so many new illustrations this year. No surprise because he does do fantastic work. Not the first time he's drawn Typhlosion either. He has drawn them in the past. But I was very excited when I saw that he'd illustrated this one. He's working so actively. Like he is literally illustrating every day and very keen to see if he's gonna get a special art this year. And the Leafeon. Tough to pick a favorite. Korki Saito did illustrate the other Hisuian final evos. I think they're all in this set. Swana. Koiru, this is by Mitsuda Areta, one of the founding fathers of Pokemon card illustrations, if you will. You know when a Magnemite card catches your eye that the illustration is fantastic. Not the most exciting Pokemon. It's one of the OGs, but this is just, this is phenomenal and just a fantastic card. We are truly blessed by Areta's work. We have Itomaru, Cape Joel Bug, and Brave Braveri, Braveri, Kusune, Petalil, Churine, Futachimaru, lovely card. So relaxing. Hey, our first V card. It is Ayashishi, the Weird Ear. This is by AKY CG Works. Not bad, honestly. I like the background. So you definitely know that you're in the Hisui region when you look at this card. I think the 3D style of V cards have really picked up with the last couple of releases. And Zugai Dosu. A lot of work goes into the 3D cards. You will be surprised how involved they can be. And the artists you generally have to be very creative with the way that they craft the cards. Nyoromo. Nazo no Kaseki. Kuchito, eh? It's by Kurumitsu. They got a new card in an upcoming set. That's really cool. I'm very keen to pop that one open. Their use of color makes every single card of theirs very exciting. This is an artist binder that I highly recommend starting if you haven't yet. Chrysalia, this is beautiful. This one's by Saino Misaki. Absolutely stunning. You got the shooting stars there. It's very fitting here for this legendary. And Foxurai. There's a really cool video that I watch from a 3D artist that I might have to share with you guys just so I can explain my point a little bit further. Usaki, very nice Sudobudo there by Hyogonosuke. Rea Koiru, again, the Magnemite, the Magneton, uh, the Magnezone, they've all had fantastic illustrations in this set. It's by Saya Tsuruta and I'm pretty sure there's a Pokeball. You guys probably getting tired of me saying that. I can't see it. Oh, there I can. It's in the clouds. There you go. Saya Tsuruta, always a Pokeball on their cards. The Leafeon, lovely card. And Yorobom, this is nice actually. This one's by Tezido, who draws fantastic special art. Their first one was the Celebi V, and ever since then, they've become a staple. This is really nice though. And I like the snow. That's actually probably why I like this one so much. I've always liked the contrast of like the blue of Poliwhirl and the white gloves. I just thought it looked really cute. Uh, so seeing them in the snow, I reckon that's pretty appropriate. This is a nice card. Tezido, absolutely fantastic job, man. Koaruhi, there you go. Yukamori again. Komatana. Washibon, Japanese word for eagle. Washi. Yokubarisu, the greeter by Sui. They've got a few cards in this set, so there you go. And Irekai Kato. I'm going to be sad to see the Legends RCS Pokemon go because I have quite enjoyed their stay. Hey, there we go. I was talking about this one before. Here it is. Poliwhirl. Nyorozo. Absolutely awesome card by Scav, formerly known as Tetsuya Koizumi. So they have changed their name. I believe Scav must be an Elias for them now. But if you're wondering where Koizumi went, they are still here, and this is beautiful. They're splashing about there in the lake. Very, very cute. I like the lily pads on that too. Very nice touch there by Scav. Kuchito, Kurumitsu again. Rakurai. Oh, okay. What's this? What is this? A trainer. Hopefully, it's Adamant. Okay, it's Petita. Look, not my favorite, but it is by Kurosaki. So, new Kurosaki cart acquired. One of the trainer full artists that I like to collect. I was hoping for Adamant. I was hoping for Adamant, but hey, what can you do? Hey, like and subscribe. Now's the time to do it, okay? It's hard to be excited about cards that you're not a big fan of, but Kurosaki, fantastic artist. They do bring the characters from the game to life. <laughs> I just can't remember the name of this one. I know you, you are the one that teaches the moves and Kurosaki, you have captured that perfectly. So job well done. Thank you. I'm going to keep opening in case we get a second SR, but if the video does end abruptly here, like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next set.